Ladies and gentlemen who are here at this venue and photography fans watching this live cast around the globe, thank you for joining us in Nikon New Products Global event. My name is Kazuo Ushida. I'm the President and Representative Director at Nikon. I hope you enjoy my presentation. For over 100 years, ever since Nikon was founded as Nippon Kogaku KK in 1917, we have constantly strived to expand the possibilities of light. This is reflected in the Nikon vision, unlock the future with the power of light. We evolve by seeking to discover new possibilities of light. The essence of Nikon is the pursuit of light. Today, we announce the first of many products that embody our vision of changing the future with the power of light. But before unveiling this new product, please allow me to recap the history of Nikon cameras. It all started with the Nikon Model 1 in 1948. This is a milestone in our history because it was our first product to bear the Nikon company name. Later models brought steady advances in technology and spread the reputation of Nikon cameras internationally. In 1959, we released our first SLR camera with interchangeable lenses, the Nikon F. It featured a number of world firsts, including exposure meter coupling and a functional motor drive. It garnered a huge response both in Japan and overseas, staying in production for 15 years and selling more than 800,000 units. It's what established the Nikon brand. In 1999, as you can see our history shows, uh, we have repeatedly harnessed the power of light to broaden the range and possibilities of image making. And today, Nikon adds a new chapter to our history. Today, we are announcing a full-frame mirrorless camera with a new lens mount. It is the distillation of Nikon's accumulated optical technologies and image-making expertise. We know that the key to great images is light because we have been refining our optical technologies for over 100 years. Those technologies are crystallized in Nikkor lenses. Our lenses control various aberrations so the camera can receive the most available light in its purest form. They have made it possible to capture beautiful, vibrant images. The mirrorless camera we are unveiling today looks towards the next 100 years of our history. It uses a new lens mount to elevate the optical performance of Nikkor lenses to a new dimension. Now, please take a look.
We call it the Z. The new mount system is called Z. Z represents the culmination of Nikon's relentless pursuit of ultimate optical performance and a bridge to a new chapter. It is about redefining possibilities to provide image makers with tools to pursue greater creativity. We are proud to introduce the Z. We have invested the best of our optical technologies in this camera with a view to the future of image making. This is the new light that Nikon will use to pioneer the future. With the product in front of you now, Nikon is determined to bring new value to the mirrorless camera market. It is indeed mirrorless reinvented. It's our mission to keep providing camera systems with the best optical performance and that represent Nikon's pursuit of light for all photographers. Unlock the future with the power of light. I would now like to invite to the stage Nobuyo Shigoku, the general manager of our imaging business unit. Thank you for the kind introduction, Mr. Oshida. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nobuyoshi Goku. I'm general manager of the imaging business unit at Nikon. I would like to talk about what mirrorless reinvented means or what new values this Z mount system brings to the market. The first is a new dimension in optical performance. Employing the large diameter Z mount has lifted many technological restrictions, realizing lenses with an amazing level of optical performance and overwhelming resolving power delivered at the center through the corners of the frame. We are now able to develop tremendously fast lenses, such as F0.95, the fastest lens in our history and diverse lenses that simply weren't possible until now. We will keep pushing the envelope for image making and fulfilling our customers' desire to take better pictures and express their creativity. The second value is inherited Nikon quality. This Z-mount system provides both high image quality and reliability so that professionals and a variety of customers can use it with confidence. Carefully considered ergonomics that make the camera feel like a part of the photographer's body. True reliability that allows photographers to take the camera with them into harsh environments. Image quality that's been developed based on many years of feedback from professionals. We have inherited all of this expertise and know-how and distilled in, into this Z-mount system. In addition, we have maintained compatibility with F-mount lenses and DSLR accessories, which are symbols of Nikon quality. This means customers can continue to enjoy their Nikon assets with this Z-mount system. The third value is future-proof cap capacity. Displays are increasing in resolution from 2K to 4K and now 8K. The frame rate of high resolution videos are also increasing. So images are becoming more vibrant and more realistic. The Z mount system is ready for such advances in the future by allowing high speed and large volume communication between the lens and body. This will continue to offer strong support as the ways we make images change. 
a new dimension in optical performance, inherited Nikon quality, future proof. These are the three new values that Nikon is bringing to the mirrorless market with this Z mount system. Mirrorless reinvented. These values don't exist in the current mirrorless market. With the Z mount system, we believe that we can inspire a customer's creativity in the truest sense and lead image making into the future. Welcome to the Z mount system. Now that we've announced the Z-Mount system, I'd like to talk about our new imaging business strategies. Nikon DSLRs and mirrorless cameras have their own great characteristics and strengths, and both are popular among consumers. At Nikon, we are determined to provide new values with both systems. In particular, the D850 that won several awards has gained a strong following among customers. By offering both high resolution and high speed, it's been hailed as the ultimate DSLR. Our DSLR system has achieved perfection as a tool with its superb optical performance and a vast variety of lenses. The Z mount system has attained a new dimension in optical performance and inherited our tradition of Nikon quality while having a future-proof capacity. By bringing these two forces together, Nikon will continue to develop new technologies and inspire the imaging culture. By bringing products that fulfill customers' needs and provide a great image-making experience, we aim to become number one in the market for full-frame interchangeable lens cameras in the future. To the Nikon fans and photo enthusiasts who are watching this live broadcast around the world, your quest for better photography will never end. And Nikon will continue to push the envelope for image making so we can satisfy each and every one of your needs. At Nikon, we are pioneering the future with the power of light. We will illuminate the future of images. Capture tomorrow.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hiroyuki Ikegami. I'm the manager of development sector. I want to start my presentation from the new Z-mount and the Nikon philosophy that it embodies. Nikon has nurtured the F-mount system with our customers for the past 59 years. The F-mount has offered reliability and superb optical performance. The new Z-mount is going to deliver these at even higher levels. An inner mount diameter of 55 millimeters and a flange focal distance of 16 millimeters. This was the solution we ultimately arrived at for our next 100 years. The inner mount diameter is an exceptionally large 55 millimeters. We decided on this because it allows us to develop lenses with incredibly fast apertures such as f0.95 and amazing resolving power. 16 millimeters is the shortest flange focal distance that can achieve a compact system and high optical performance without compromising our stringent quality standards. The combination of this short flange focal distance and the larger inner mount diameter brings in a lot of light. It also increases flexibility and lens optical design and unlocks the possibilities for a wider variety of lenses with specs and features that were not possible before. The Z-mount possesses a huge potential for the future. The first camera incorporating the Z-mount is the Nikon Z7. The Z7 is a high pixel count model that allows users to take full advantage of the Z-mount system's high-resolution lenses. It boasts a CMOS image sensor featuring 45.7 effective megapixels and a newly developed XP6 image processing engine. 
It also incorporates a newly developed uh, autofocus system that is a hybrid of phase detection and contracts detect AF technologies. It offers an amazingly wide coverage and achieves an accurate photos in still photography and mo mo movie recording. There's also another camera that I would like to introduce today. It's the all-rounder Nikon Z6. This comes with an image sensor featuring 24.5 effective megapixels and the newly developed XSpeed 6. It offers a standard sensitivity range of ISO 100 to 51200, and it can shoot at up to 12 frames per second. Now, I'd like to introduce a range of superb features that Z7 and Z6 share. We concentrated all elements of Nikon quality into the Z7 and Z6's compact bodies to allow photographers to use the system with confidence under various conditions. Both models ensure a high level of strength, robustness, dust, and drip-resistant performance that we have cultivated through development of DSLRs. They also offer operability and ergonomics, including a greater, more secure grip, and respond to the demands of photographers at high levels. Our new XSpeed 6 image processing engine delivers overwhelmingly high image quality in combination with Nikkor Z lenses. We developed a new sharpness parameter called middle range sharpening that offers adjustment in the frequency range between outline sharpening and clarity. This brings even more sharpness and three-dimensionality to images. The electronic viewfinder, EVF, is an important interface between the photographer and their subjects. Our engineers employed Nikon's optical technologies and image processing know-how to deliver natural viewing and comfortable usability. The combination of aspherical lens glass, high refractive index resin, and anti-reflective coating provides a clear and bright view with minimal aberrations throughout the frame. Please take a look through it and see for yourself. The Z series bodies are the first interchangeable lens Nikon cameras to come with an in-camera vibration reduction or VR mechanism. The newly developed VR unit offers compensation in five directions and the effect is equivalent to a shutter speed up to approximately 5.0 stops faster. This in-camera VR support is also effective when paired with non-VR Nikkor F lenses via a mount adapter. The Z-Series places a strong emphasis on improved movie recording features. They both offer full-frame 4K UHD 30p and full HD 120p recording. Recording in Nikon's original N-Log is available for 10-bit HDMI output and enables richer, smoother color grading in post-production. Nikkor Z-Lensers have further reduce focus breathing more than before and offer a quieter AF and aperture drive. The newly incorporated control ring allows smooth focus, aperture, and ISO changes. The Z-mount system truly benefits still photography as well as movie recording. It offers a strong support for those exploring new expressions in movie image making. We are also developing a battery pack that will allow long hours of shooting. These mirrorless cameras also embody Nikon quality, which we have built up for over 100 years. High precision development and manufacturing. Lenses with uniformly high production quality are achieved by setting uniquely high standards. High image quality with a strong emphasis on natural photographic expression. Ergonomics optimized for ease of use as photographic gear. Robustness that enables shooting with confidence in harsh environments. Compatibility with a wide range of DSLR accessories and Nikkor F lenses. The Z mount system is the embodiment of Nikon quality and brings new values to the mirrorless market.
the new Z-mount system opens up a new dimension in optical performance. The lenses for the system, the Nikkor Z lenses, offer three benefits. The system offers a wider variety of lenses for more unique image expression. The lenses offer high resolving power and they deliver improved movie features. We are introducing three Nikkor Z lenses. The Nikkor Z 24 70 mm f4s, Nikkor Z 35 mm f1.8s, and Nikkor Z 50 mm f1.8s. These three lenses demonstrate a very high performance, even at the maximum aperture, redefining what we expect from f4 and f1.8 lenses. The Nikkor Z 24 70 mm f4s provides high optical performance while remaining compact and portable. It demonstrates superb resolving power consistently from the center to the periphery. This amazing imaging power is available throughout the whole shooting range from the close distance to infinity. It also offers great operability and portability thanks to the new retractable mechanism. In addition, this lens, designed with consideration for movie recording, allows quiet, smooth focusing and aperture changes. Now I'd like to introduce the two f1.8 single-focus lens series lenses, the 50mm and 35mm. These lenses offer rendering performance that redefines conventional expectations of f1.8 lenses. Both lenses thoroughly minimize chromatic aberration and deliver great rendering throughout the frame, regardless of shooting distance, superb point image reproduction of point light sources, and natural beautiful bokeh. The Nikkor Z 35mm f1.8s realizes quiet but fast and highly accurate AF with consideration for movie recording. It employs multi-focusing system and demonstrates superb imaging, whether at infinity or close-up. The Nikkor Z 50mm f1.8s delivers incredible resolution by drastically minimizing axial chromatic aberration. In addition, it renders smooth, beautiful bokeh even at close shooting distances. The newly adopted high torque stepping mounter and the new mount allows increased flexibility in the optical system and optimization of the focus lens group. It has greatly elevated the optical and AF performance. With Nikkor Z, we are introducing a new grade, the S line. The S-Line title is reserved only for lenses that have cleared even more rigorous standards for evaluating factors like MTF performance, as well as stricter quality control standards. All S-Line lenses incorporate the nanocrystal coat. The three lenses introduced today are all S-Line lenses. And lastly, I'd like to mention the Nikkor Z 58mm f0.95s knocked, the pinnacle of the S-line lenses currently in development. With this lens, our engineers are trying to achieve an unprecedented level of optical performance which symbolizes the Z-mount system. This lens offers an ultra-fast aperture of f0.95, the fastest in Nikon's history, a continuous transition from incredibly sharp features to beautiful bokeh, and unbeatable point image reproduction. The result is truly impressive three-dimensional rendering. In addition, to the four lenses I have introduced. We'll continue to expand the Nikkor Z lineup in 2019 and beyond. For example, there will be more f1.8 single focal length lenses. We will release an ultra-wide zoom lens at f4, which suits landscape photography. There will be three f2.8 zoom lenses, a type which is popular among professionals. And we'll start an f1.2 lens series, taking advantage of the large diameter mount.
And we are also planning to have a richer telephoto lens lineup. The Z-mount system provides access to Nikkor F lenses via the dedicated mount adapter FTC, ensuring compatibility with approximately 360 lenses. This enables you to enjoy the unique characteristics of a wide variety of lenses. In the meantime, Nikon will continue to expand the variety of Nikkor F lenses. One example is the AFS Nikkor 500mm F 5.6E PF ED VR, which we are announcing today. This is incredibly compact and lightweight for a super telephoto lens, thanks to its incorporation of PF lens elements. It offers great agility by allowing handheld shooting. The weight is about a half that of other lenses in this class, but offers great optical performance and subject acquisition. It can be paired with Z series bodies via the mount adapter, allowing you compact, lightweight, super telephoto photography. The new Z-mount system will unleash your creativity with a new dimension in optical performance. Thanks to Nikon quality, we can offer high image quality and reliability for a wide range of customers, including professionals, to use with confidence. As a new platform, the Z-mount system strives to future-proof image making going forward. Discover a new world of photography with the unique optical performance of the Z-mount system. ニコンは光を使って世界を変えていきたいと光で世界を満たしていく光で応えていく本当に細部にわたってこだわって技術を追求した技術者の知恵の塊とも言うべき商品と思います ドームとしてやっぱり使い勝手が良くないとカメラとしては失格だと思っています Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming to Nikon New Products Global Launch Event. My name is Rachel Chan, and I will be your host for this session. Nice to meet you all. First, I would like to give you information on prices and schedules for the release dates in Japan. Nikon mirrorless camera Z7 body is scheduled to be released around the end of September 2018. Price is open price. An estimated retail price will be around 440,000 Japanese yen including tax. Around 440,000 Japanese yen including tax. Nikon mirrorless camera Z6 body is scheduled to be released around the end of November 2018. Price is open price. An estimated retail price will be around 270,000 Japanese yen including tax. Around 270,000 Japanese yen including tax. Next is interchangeable lens and mount adapter. 
Nikkor Z2470mm F4S is scheduled to be released around the end of September 2018. Suggested retail price will be 136,500 Japanese yen excluding tax. 136,500 Japanese yen excluding tax. Nikkor Z35mm F1.8S is scheduled to be released around the end of September 2018. Suggested retail price will be 114,000 Japanese yen excluding tax. 114,000 Japanese yen excluding tax. Nikkor Z50mm F1.8S is scheduled to be released around the end of October 2018. Suggested retail price will be 83,500 Japanese yen excluding tax. 83,500 Japanese yen excluding tax. Mount adapter FTZ is scheduled to be released around the end of September 2018. Suggested retail price will be 36,500 Japanese yen excluding tax. 36,500 Japanese yen excluding tax. Lastly, FS Nikkor 500mm F5.6E PF ED VR is scheduled to be released on September 14th, 2018. Suggested retail price will be 506,000 Japanese yen excluding tax. 506,000 Japanese yen excluding tax. As for the scheduled release date and prices other than Japanese market, please make inquiries to the sales distributors in respective countries. Thank you very much. So, now we would like to invite two wonderful international guests and move to the live talk stage. And from now on, we will be conducting this session in English. So, if you need the simultaneous interpretation, Please set the channel one for Japanese. So, from now on, we will be conducting this talk session in English. So, for those of you who need the interpretation, please set the channel to one. And please be aware that some time lag may occur due to simultaneous interpretation in three languages. We announce Nikon's groundbreaking the Z mount system. What was your impression? Ahead of the announcement, Nikon had 11 photographers and one video team take the Z mount system to actual filming locations around the world where it was tested through their work. Today, we are joined by Tamara Lackey and Rob Whitworth. Please come up on stage. Please welcome our guests with a big round of applause. Welcome, Tamara and Rob. Thank you for joining us. I would now like to ask our guests to share their impression after having actually used the new products.、So、please have a seat. Okay, first let's hear from Tamara. Tamara is a Nikon USA ambassador working in the field of portrait and lifestyle photography. She is acclaimed both at home and abroad for authentic images, including portraits of children and her humanitarian work, all started from personal projects 15 years ago. On this occasion, Tamara took the Nikkor Z 2470 mm F4S and Z7 out for some travel photography in Mexico. So, Tamara, could you tell us more about the shooting? How was it? Oh, yes, absolutely. Thank you.、Um, first of all, it's an honor to be here. It's very exciting. I would say that shooting with the 2470 F4 lens was just extraordinary. I absolutely loved it. I was lucky enough to spend a full week shooting nearly nonstop throughout the Yucatan Peninsula and also in central Mexico. And during that time, I was able to put this lens through the paces. It was remarkably fun and surprisingly freeing. So, in terms of my first impressions, I have to start with this unequaled combination of lightweight portability and ease, and 
unbelievable, brilliant capture quality. Like many photographers, I have struggled with that choice. Using a lighter system, which is more convenient, just easier, and choosing a high resolution DSLR with a sturdy lens that I know will supply a great quality image. The problem with lightweight cameras I've shot with to date, even classified as similar systems, is that the images can look fine on the LCD, on the back of the camera, but once you enlarge it, you start to see real flaws in dynamic range, color tone, depth, and sharpness. So to keep the ease, but also see even better image quality is remarkable. The incredible versatility I enjoyed with the 24-70 lens included everything from this, a vibrant mix of color tones, structure, and textures, to a colorful landscape scene shot under a late day sun, to dreamy, multi-hued twilight scenes, to all those colors that are remarkable to see as is in nature, like coral skies or this impossibly pink lagoon that we found in Mexico. Mm. It really looked just like that all so well handled. And I really cannot overstate the impact of sharpness and dimensionality of this lens. These frames like hold all these little scenes and it's like they stand apart from each other, like presented in 3D. You can clearly zoom in and see the time. I shot this image at 8.50 p.m. The sharpness of the edges, the marks on the clock tower, all in crisp focus and exceptional detail. Even though I'm shooting from all the way back here, in the dark. And it's razor sharp capabilities in terms of being able to look at a scene like this that's already, already meticulously designed. This is a historic theater we found in Guanajuato, Mexico. Since the architecture here is already so crisp, the effectiveness of this lens is just outstanding. And I can take a corner of this image and blow it up and you have what looks like its own standalone image, right? It's, when I mean edge to edge sharpness, I really do mean to all the corners. That said, we don't always want super sharp capture. Sometimes we want softness. And this lens was a fantastic option for shooting portraits. I love how soft the background is here, how she pops off this wall, even though she's only a couple steps away. And notice the sun bouncing against the wall. Those highlights are held so well, not overly contrasty or lacking in any detail. Which brings me to the lens's handling of backlighting. Photographing portraits in backlighting can look quite dreamy, but you zoom in on that light and you often see issues like lens flare, chromatic aberration, blown out subjects. But as you can see here, this lens handles those issues just masterfully. We get strong image quality throughout, in the background, in the foreground, in light, in shadow. Nothing is lost. As in this image, which is deeply backlit, only lit with a bounce of light from a lightweight reflector in the front, the effect is real and raw and just magical. <laughs> and speaking of a little magic, one of the most delightful surprises of working with this lens was discovering its macro light capabilities. Being able to lock in sharp focus from just about 12 inches away. I'm shooting from about here to this little creature, which I still don't know exactly what it is. But crop into this, which is what I would do, and I'm still working with a 50 megabyte file there are so many large ways to display a crystal clear 50 megabyte file. Hmm. And another look at our subject, also a 50 megabyte file, but he seemed to be getting angrier here, so I decided to stop shooting about 12 inches away from him, which I think was a really good idea. But it didn't stop me from shooting nearly everything else around me because I can honestly say that working with this new system has changed the possibility of what I can now do and am free to experience as a photographer. And for that, I am very grateful. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, Tamara, for sharing us the beautiful and amazing pictures. So, Rob, what do you think um, after her presentation? Did you have a similar impression, or did you figure out something new? Well, I mean, beautiful images first and foremost, and yeah, the lens is a, an interesting. You know, to have something so small but that is not a compromise is very exciting, and yeah, it was great to get to play with it. Isn't it? So now let's hear from you, Rob, um, about your filming. Rob is a new generation creator experimenting with unique visual expression by utilizing various methods such as time-lapse, hyperlapse, low-speed continuous shooting, and 4K UHD. He works with various clients around the globe, recently winning a BAFTA for his work on BBC's Planet Earth 2. And it's noteworthy, though, that all his success started from posting a time-lapse piece on the internet six years ago. Isn't it amazing? This time, Rob used the Z7 and Nikkor Z lenses, as well as various Nikkor F lenses, to create a film set in Tokyo. So Rob, could you please share the story about your filming? Cool, uh, thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, so I recently completed something of a dream commission. Uh, I was invited to Japan to create a video for Nikon using a brand new mirrorless camera. The video is Tokyo Seamless. It's shot entirely on the Nikon Z7, and this is its world premiere. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so we just watched Tokyo Seamless. It was shot entirely on the Nikon Z7. Uh, I'd like to take a look behind the scenes to see how the Z7 performs in a real-world shoot. So the scene we're going to look at involves a bunny. Um, now, in the heat of the Tokyo summer, you really have to feel for the person inside this costume. So it also involves our lead talent, and we're going to call her Alice. So uh, on a normal shoot, I'd be on the ground here with these guys, but this wasn't the case on this production. 
Tokyo Seamless was all about capturing Alice as a small detail, meandering through a really big landscape. So I had four cameras filming here simultaneously with varying focal lengths. Um, we can't see them, unfortunately, as being a prototype. Um, we had to hide them, and you can see these little camera hats here I had hiding them. Uh, my grandma knitted them for me, so I have to say thank you, grandma, at this point. Um, but anyway, let's go into the next shot. Um, the scene is shot with four cameras simultaneously here. So our master shot is a 14 mil shot that we see here, the star wide master shot. We then have two details left and right here. These are shot at 70 mil on the new 2470. And then if we go way in, we've got a 500 mil shot, capturing the moment Alice and Bunny meet. So image quality is a really big draw for my work. The ability to resolve small details makes complex sequences like this possible. Um, the smaller size of both the cameras and lenses was also a big plus on the shoot. I could pack three or four bodies and lenses and still travel much lighter than usual. So let's take a look at the final camera location now. So we're back on the grounds. This is filming on a tripod. This is the moment Alice and Bunny meet. It's filmed at 105 mil at f1.4 using the F-mount lens adapter. I mean, I was shooting with a tiny depth of field here for multiple takes. Face detection focusing nailed the focus every time. Uh, in all, I spent two weeks filming Tokyo Seamless, filming in over 26 locations. I used multiple lenses, both the new Z mount and the existing F mount lenses. I shot a mixture of video and over 100,000 stills. I mean, I'd have to argue it out with the Nikon guys, but I think I might have taken more pictures with this camera than anyone else, or at least I hope so. Um, Tokyo Seamless is testament to the fact that this camera delivered, and I very much look forward to using it on future projects. Thank you, Rob. So, um, do you have any comments about Rob's amazing shooting style? Yeah, that was fantastic. Um, I've been lucky enough to see that film a few times, and every single time I see it, I notice something different, which I think is so cool. Um, one of the things I had the thought about in terms of noticing the video capabilities, and especially the face detection, which I've people have been raving about, the few photographers I know who've shot it, I cannot wait to start using it more like that. So you might try something new as well. Absolutely. Brilliant. So from both of your presentation, it was very clear that you had a wonderful experience with this new Z. I'm sure the fans watching on the brackets are even more excited to use it for themselves. So let's wait for that. On behalf of Nikon users, um, what other work do you hope to create using this system? Tamara? Well, certainly it's going to be something I'm using heavily in my portrait and travel photography. And um, it'll be actually be my primary camera for my travel photography and my humanitarian work simply for the ease and amazing optics combination. Brilliant. How about yourself, Rob? Um, I mean, I just can't wait to get my hands on it and have a play. I mean, in a, in a shooting environment, kind of delivering a project, it was very sort of intense and about kind of focusing on the things I knew would work. So yeah, it's more about what I don't know about it and, you know, getting to, to use it and play around and, and, you know, really be creative with it. Brilliant. We're looking forward to your new pieces in the future as well. Thank you so much. Tamara Lackey and Rob Whitworth, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That brings us to the end of our guest talk session. Please give them a big round of applause again. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you, Rob. So our live streaming will now conclude. To all photography fans who tuned in around the globe, Please look forward to the world of Z, which Nikon will be bringing to you shortly. Thank you for staying with us to the end. <laughs>